Alright you guys, welcome back to another code.org video. Today we're going to be working on lesson 34, For Loops with Artist. So this first puzzle, I guess, this first part of this lesson is just a video which I strongly encourage you guys to watch. Uh, last time we did For Loops with B and typically the artist lessons are a little bit harder so I encourage you to watch that video of mine but also watch the code.org videos that they use as well. Alright, so we're looking at puzzle number two and it says free play experiment with the for loop and the counter variable okay well that's not too hard is it we can pretty easily just kind of experiment so let's pull in for counter from one to a hundred ooh let me turn that volume way down for you all right now let's see all right, so we're just going to bring in a four counter from one to 100, count by 10. So we could just as easily, you know, reduce that by a factor of 10, say for one to 10, count to count by one. So it'll still do it 10 times. And then let's use counter variable. Let's say move forward by counter pixels and then let's see if we can uh, well let's just let that run and see okay so it's moving forward by one pixel each time okay that's it we're gonna finish that oh look at my beautiful art right there alright let's go ahead and continue to puzzle number three all right, so this time it says use a repeat loop inside of a for loop to create this stack of triangles that goes from 50 pixel to 100 pixel size. So that's not a big deal. And also you have a link back to this other video down here if you need a quick tutorial on how to use these for loops. All right, so we'll go ahead and pull in our for counter from, and we'll set this to from 50 to 100 and we're gonna leave our interval as 10 and so you know 50 to 100 pixel sides 50 to 100 not a big deal and then we'll pull in a repeat loop and of course we need to repeat this three times to make a three-sided shape move forward by we want to use counter let's see where our counter pixels I'm not sure why it's throwing that into loops and then we want to turn left by 120 degrees to have our 60 degree interior angles for our triangle. All right, and this should just run just like that. Yep, it's gonna run, it's gonna get bigger each time, just like that. All right, cool. So let's continue on to puzzle number four. Hopefully this lesson will be pretty quick. Create these triangles that go from 20 pixel sides to 200 pixel sides where each triangle is 20 pixels larger than the last. All right, not a big deal. We'll just set our four counter from 20 to 200. Set our interval to 20 so that it'll change the step size and we'll say repeat three times again. We're just gonna do our same little triangle trick move forward do we have an option to move forward by oh we do move forward by counter pixels and then turn left by 120 degrees again turn left by 120 degrees and this should run just fine yep did it just fine all right continuing on to puzzle number five so this isn't too tricky this is very similar to the for loops we were doing in the in lesson 33 was it i think um, I believe it was less than 33. Now I'm going to feel bad if it's not. Uh, oh, well. All right. So now it says these squares start at 15 pixels long. The largest is 300 pixels long. And each square is 15 pixels larger than the last. Again, it gives you where you need to start and end. So you just say from 15 to 300. And we're going to count by 15 because each one's 15 larger than the last. And this time, instead of repeating three times to make a triangle, we're going to repeat by four times, and we will move forward counter pixels. 
and we will turn left by 90 degrees this time instead of 120 because we may want to make a square and I'm pretty sure this will just run now just fine yep there it goes making all the things all the squares and we're moving on to puzzle number six all right it says just one little change to the code from the last image can create this drawing can you figure out what the change is hint you need to remove something well no kidding because we have 11 out of 9 blocks here so what we need to remove is our repeat four times because we're no longer making a square it's just changing every every time it draws a line it's going to increase its interval so 15 to 300 again and we're just gonna let it run and it draws it just fine cool there goes puzzle six that was not too bad let's go on to puzzle number seven all right so now we're setting our color to blue which I believe you can probably set it to whatever color you want I don't know then instead of doing what we just did so we're gonna go back and say why wouldn't it just leave that code in here for us 15 to 300 interval of 15 so we're doing the same thing we just did except instead of 90 degrees it's going to be 89 so we're going to say move forward by counter pixels and then turn left by 89 degrees boom done let's move on to puzzle number eight all right wow that looks pretty cool actually i kind of like that all right, so then we need to, what's it say? Make three small changes to the code from the last level to get this. All right, well, I can already tell these lines are smaller. So let's go ahead and uh, brushes. So let's set width to one. And we don't need to keep setting the width to one, by the way. And then it says three small. Ah, so we need to change this interval so let's see what it looks like like this so obviously that's not gonna work let's try setting our interval to five we're close let's just try setting our interval to two there we go oh it's still not quite right let's see oh it's the opposite <laughs> it's the opposite of what it needs to be it needs to turn right there we go so turn right perfect that looks right that looks pretty cool actually all right let's go on to puzzle number nine and you can always save these puzzles or send them to your phone or whatever your preference is okay so this one is just okay so take the angle down to 72 degrees so it's telling us to do that so let's go ahead and do that is that all we need to change I guess so let's let it run okay spiraled Pentagon cool all right neat let's go to puzzle 10 and here I thought this was going to be more challenging than four loops with the B. Okay. So let's okay use the counter inside the set alpha block to get something like this faded center. This hexagon pattern was made using a 60 degree turn. Okay, so the alpha is, you know, how dark or light it is. All right. Or, well, how intense your color is more so. But we're not going to get into that right now. So let's set the alpha to something different. And we're going to put that inside our loop so where is that oh it's under brushes set alpha we'll do that first to let's get rid of it, it says set it to the counter I don't know why it's putting counter in the loop counter is not a loop it's a variable that we made but oh well all right so I think that's all we had to change and we can change our color if we want let's make it Green. I like green. I didn't see a purple option. Purple. Oh, there is a purple option. Purple is my favorite color. Here we go. Uh, I think I did it opposite again. I think it needs to turn left. Oh no, it needs to be 60 degrees for starters. I don't think it needs to turn left. I think it just needed to change the degrees. Yep. There we go. Maybe. Maybe not. No, oh, that's right. Yeah. Just click finish. Okay. And then continue. Moving on to puzzle number 11. All right. This one's asking us a question. So let's see. We use the counter from our for loop to change the width of the brush on this drawing. What will happen when you click run? 
counter from our okay so we set width to counter is that what it said yeah counter divided by five so interesting so it's going to draw a spiral it looks like and the spiral is going to get bigger as we go towards the outside so let's say this card artist will draw a spiral and each time through the for loop the line gets longer and thicker yep i pick c i think it's c is that right correct yay i feel so intelligent all right <coughs> excuse me Number 12, free play, using the counter variable with other drawing elements to make magical images like this one that we can't really, okay, there we go. All right, so this one just, it'll just let you play around with it. So for counter from one to 10, let's say that, let's just let it go. Okay, so you can make whatever you want there and then click continue. And yep, that is it for lesson 34. So if you like this video and it helped you out, go ahead and leave a like on the video. If you have questions or you wanna tell me good job or bad job, I guess, you can leave a comment down below. And please consider subscribing to my channel because I keep posting these videos. And when I run out of lessons in this express course, I'm gonna move on to the CS principles course, I think is what it is, which is designed for like middle schoolers and stuff. So we'll go ahead and work our way through that as well. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.